Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be thrifting today and I thought that I would take you with me. I'm with my friend, Mariah. Hello. So here we are, the first stop is Dream Fishing Tackle. Yes, they do have tackle here, but they have tons of beautiful vintage furniture and homeware and little knickknacks. They have this Brooklyn sign, which I think is $1,000, this random pencil, it's $400, so it's kind of like a playhouse, but I really like to get knickknacks here and cups and, you know, little vases, things like that. The price range is really wide. It's always fun to peep in here whether or not you have an intention of buying anything. Plus, they have a dope little record section in the back. I just like to sift through and find records with really cool art and listen to someone new. And the beautiful thing about records is that you just have to listen to one song after the next and you get the whole experience and it's just so much different from clicking on something on Spotify and like fast forwarding through the song to see if you like it. Like you're really in for a ride when you put a vinyl on your record player. So I really enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have the Dobbin Street Co-op. Vintage Co-op. Okay, I think that's the full name. This place, okay, this is the number one place, okay, number two place for home decor, inspo. I mean, this place is just decked out with beautiful pieces that all look amazing together, and they have clothes as well. <laughs> it's so good. Look at this aesthetic. Like, you can just buy all these pieces, and then you're done. This is your apartment, sorted. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this will probably cost so much money. <laughs> that budget, this is so again. Cute. What is it? Oh, it's like a little cup holder set. I love yellow houseware. It's just so bright and happy and reminds me of the 50s. Apparently, if you like yellow, that means that you're an optimist. Someone told me that. Really awesome rugs here. And they have clothes here too, but I feel like more in the price. Really unique things. Look at this. That's really cute. Rocky go. While the clothes are on the pricier side, it's because they are truly unique and different styles and patterns that you may not have seen before. So I really like to come in here and try things on that, yeah, I've never seen before. And I do end up finding things sometimes under $25 clothing wise. But as far as home decor and accessories, they have really reasonable stuff. So I like to come in here for sunglasses and belts and things like that. Oh, cute. Oh, I feel like I just walked out of like pretty woman. But like, I don't need it, but it's cute. I feel like books in thrift stores can be extremely underrated. I always check out the book section. This is a Pablo Picasso book of a lot of his greatest works. And I love these kinds of books because you can rip prints out, put them in a frame and hang them around your house. And it's just really dope for decorating. And this store is also has such an amazing aesthetic for taking photos. If you just want to snap a selfie in one of the mirrors, it's great. It's way too hot to even imagine wearing this, but Pretty cool. Thank you. I'll try it on. I've also found some really amazing scarves here. You guys know I love a good scarf. You can wrap it around your neck in a little bow tie, kind of like a flight attendant, or as a headband, or as a hair tie, or as a purse strap. You can do so much with scarves. They're definitely a summer essential for me. Next, we have the Break Vintage, which I'm sure you've heard of. All of these thrift stores are really close to each other, and this one is right next to the Vintage Co-op. I love how they color coordinate their clothes because I like to shop by color a lot. I like to wear things and purchase things that will go with the things I already own so it's really great for that it's so tight. what do you think I'm thinking it looks so I love that color on you it looks so good on you the only thing I'm worried, like, it did, I think it looks good, but it do you mind so that? so bad. Yeah, no. that's the only thing. Second to last, we have Feng Sui, which is a vintage shop, a plant shop, and it's full of home decor. I used to work here, and it has the most beautiful, most epic pieces, and it's the number one place, I think, for home decor inspiration, because they really know what they're doing. It is very Feng Sui, and it's like a plant forest wonderland in here, so people often come in here to get plants and really cool vases, which I feel like are harder to find. I 
This store also has a very wide range of prices for clothing because they have some amazing vintage dead stock pieces but then they also have stuff that's new and that they got sent to by a company to sell type thing like there's a lot in here but it's a pleasure and joy just being in this store and being surrounded by the people and just the craft of everything around you it's just gorgeous and breathtaking lastly I went to Beacon's closet I'm sorry I didn't really film anything in there but this is my go-to spot for cheap clothing and to donate clothes so check out Beacon's Closet I'm sorry I didn't get more footage in here but I went home feeling very successful I picked up a table from Feng Sui and it was a good day so now let's get into the haul Hey guys, I'm home now. I had a pretty successful little venture at the thrift shops today I didn't go crazy. I used to go so overboard and just get things because they fit me and looked good on me but now I get things because they fit me and also if I know that I'll wear them a lot and if they're versatile because I just don't want to have extra clutter and you guys know I'm moving into more of a minimalistic more intentional place with every piece in my wardrobe. I was lucky enough to find things that were cute and that fit me very nicely but I opted out of them because I didn't think I would wear them very much and I'm really happy about that. I don't know if you guys have heard of Girl Boss. It's by the CEO of Nasty Gal and there's this quote in it that says your money looks way better in the bank than on your feet and I just think that's so true like I'd rather just save a few bucks in my savings account rather than get like a new pair of shoes or something that I don't need you know what I mean so also another benefit of not shopping like crazy and chasing trends but I'm gonna start off with two things that I got when I went upstate so these thrift stores were really random and I don't know the names of them but I got this super cute bag I love this color I don't even know what shade of orange this is I mean it is a pretty vibrant orange but it also gives me like some papaya vibes and this is gonna be awesome to fit my laptop in I love the big strap and there is a pocket in the front which actually does open it's pretty swell pocket in the front and then there is a big pocket in the back and another one that zips so this is gonna be amazing for my laptop I have a 12 inch MacBook I can just put in here and put my camera and put any other things that I need for my work day because I pretty much been carrying my laptop in a small tote bag and it just really hurts my shoulder and I have to stuff everything in there and every time I take my laptop out I'm like pulling everything else out of it so this is just gonna be so convenient it's in amazing condition, it's a beautiful color, and it was 10 bucks, so how can you go wrong? And it has this thing on the side where you can snap the zipper into the side so that it's not hanging. I mean, the attention to detail. I wonder what year this came out. Also, it has these studs on the bottom, which is super nice because then it doesn't get all dirty and gross. Really nice. This is by Samsonite, and honestly, haven't seen anything they've made recently, but I doubt that it's as cute as this, so... I'm just a huge fan and I love the bright colors lately oh, it just makes me so happy and the next thing I got is from another random vintage shop and it's just this little bowl I really needed something to put my keys in because I just lose them if we don't have a specific place to put my keys and I love this glass I forget what it's called and this like turns me on I don't know why but I just love looking at it and playing with it the light hits it so beautifully and it's so smooth and yeah I really like this piece I think this was um, eight bucks so not bad and I mean I can probably use it for other things as well like my gold jewelry and other more practical things than just a place to plop my keys no I just couldn't pass it up I really really like it truly it's just really eye-catching. After I got home from my trip upstate with my boyfriend, I got this beautiful package from Penelope Gazin. She is an artist and she created Witch Sea and it has a bunch of her creations and she does a lot of like really sarcastic funny stuff. I got this bathing suit and it has boobs all over it. Hopefully it won't get demonetized. This of course is her own design that it's just printed on this bikini. It is so soft. The material feels so good and silky almost. I'm really surprised and impressed by its quality. It's 15% spandex and 85% polyester which I guess is pretty average and normal but it just feels really soft and I got a size small in the bottoms which are slightly high-waisted and a size large in the top which you can also take the padding out of, which I really appreciate. I'm a 32 triple D and this fits pretty nicely. It's sexy but still supportive and um, this is also removable, so 
I'll link this baby down below. It's super nice. I posted it on my Instagram story and a lot of people were like, oh my god, I love it. So yeah, I'm really into it too, man. And I love the banana with boobs. I feel like that's one of my favorites. So that's my only bikini this summer. I don't have any other ones. That'll be fun. Mildly inappropriate, probably. I'll wear it with my family if I see them. Really stoked about that. It also came with a pencil that says, I hate myself, but in a fun way with an exclamation point. And I just feel like that is exactly her humor and her art in a nutshell. I guess I'll show you guys the stuff I got today, which is not a lot. I got this plant waterer. I forget what these are called. Is it a pitcher? I don't know, but it's so rad. It's a bright yellow, which I love. And you just pop off this little guy. It's a head with little holes in it and you can get some sprinkling action going on. And it's just so cute and two places to hold it. It's so practical. And I genuinely need this kind of thing for my plants because when I water them, I use this huge water jug and gravity just makes too much water come out of it and it goes everywhere. So this just seems like something that you don't know that you need until, until you know. Like I never thought that I would buy one of these, but then I realized I genuinely need this it'll make my life so much easier and i'm excited and it's just so cute i mean come on just put it here adorable i also got some cute lemon earrings from there from this local artist she sells them at feng Sway. Can you? I love it. Probably with my hair up. I need to wear my hair up more because I just do the same thing with it every day and I think it looks cute up. I just don't know how to keep it up because it's just so heavy. But yeah, I really like these and I think that they'll be awesome all summer round. I changed my outfit like three times today. Oh, I should just leave these in. Then I just decided on this random denim dress and I'm literally just wearing a bra underneath. By the way, this bra that I'm wearing is from Target and it's my mom's and she gave it to me. And yeah, I don't know. I get questions about my bras a lot because I do have bigger boobs and people are just wondering, but I've had the same bras for like three years and they're from Victoria's Secret, which I don't really shop at anymore. And if bras happen to fall into my lap, like this one that I'm wearing that was my mom's, then I just kind of take them. But it's really cute and does give some little push. This is probably the only padded bra that I have, but yeah, it's from Target uh, for any of the big breasted ladies out there. I know it's hard to find stuff that fits. Um, but anyways, I got this dress today from Beacon's Closet. It just has polka dots. I loved it for its fit and for the style of it. However, I have never worn polka dots and I don't own anything with polka dots so I'm still you know adjusting to this but I really do love it and I think the polka dots are just super quirky it'll just go really well with gold jewelry which is all I've been rocking lately and little little earrings and I was gonna say something else oh yeah I have yellow toenails I got these really awesome nail polishes from Selenia Beauty, which I will link down below. They're vegan and cruelty free, and I just really like this yellow. I also got a table from Feng Sui, and I'll just insert a clip of it here next to my bed. I love it. <laughs> what exactly I'm gonna put on it because I want it to be simple and not cluttered when I go to sleep so yeah this is what it looks like now and it'll probably evolve my memory card keeps malfunctioning and saying it's full when it's not but I love you guys please say hello to me if you see me I just want to give you my love and have you receive so much love and abundance and I'll see you in my next video I love you guys bye thank you for watching like this video if you like it okay peace out homies bye oh.